client Cheryl from Ideas for Card Making and I'm here today for Couture Creations and I'm going to make a Christmas card uh, using the Highland Christmas collection. Uh, this is just one of the pieces. I've cut everything up ready. I've got all my little bits ready in a bow. Um, I've just got my GoPress and foil machine warming up. And it's just turned green, so I've got the um, Merry Christmas Hot Fall Stamp, is what I'm using today. So I shall put my piece of paper on here. Now I've cut this, I don't know how this is going to go because I already tore it. If that doesn't work, I've got another piece ready. So I'll just put that on here. Get that centered as best that I can. Here, I've moved that a fraction, I think. Oh, it's still covered, that's all right. So just put that on there. I'm not sure how it's going to go with that bit of a tear there, but we'll see. I did that on purpose when I should have waited. Just putting a bit of a shim, and I'll just put that through my die cutting machine. I'll be back in a second. that's gone. Alright, well it's certainly foiled okay because you can see the impression there. Yep, yeah, that's foiled absolutely beautifully. So I'll put this away. I'll turn the GoPress and foil off because I'm not going to use that again now. So I've got everything is already cut up and ready to go. Because I wanted this just to be a very quick um, video today. So I've got that one's upside down. This is also Couture Creations cardstock. So I'll just put this one on there. Just a bit of... It's quite hot here today. Everything's really runny, as you can see with that glue. Just put that over, that'll be right. Put that on there. Now I'll put this on here, as I said before this is from the Highland Christmas collection from Couture Creations. I'm just going to put that on there, I've just left a bit of a border around each side. I'm going to put these pieces on here, now I've just cut out some holly and bits and pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just going to put a little bit of of um, distress oxide. That's broken china. It matches the the um, foil very well. And the, the, I didn't show you the foil I've used here is the blue green foil, and that matches all this paper really well as well. So I'm just giving it a little bit of accent. I'm not worrying too much. Now I've, I've actually used the same paper, just scraps, to cut these out, but I'm using the other side because I just want a bit more um, contrast to it. And I've got another one here somewhere. There it is, hiding under the lid. Just a little bit. Right, so all I want to do here is I just want to put these, I want to have a little bit of that sticking up. Got a little bit I tore there on purpose again. So I'm just going to put that like that. And this one to go here somewhere. A bit like that. And we'll put these ones down here. I've got a tape runner here somewhere. If you saw the mess that I got into, you wouldn't believe it. So I'll just put those there like that. 
I think I'm happy with that. I can move that one across a bit. Put a bit of glue on here. Oh, it's running out everywhere. It's just so hot today. Believe it or not, we had all sorts of thunderstorms and all sorts of things the other day and we had the heaters blaring and today it is just unbelievably hot. Right. Put that there. Yep, it's okay. I'm happy with that. And I've got a bow. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that bow. I don't really like that covering that up. I might put that there, I think. <clears throat> this is just out of some scrap that I had in my moustache. And I'll put that there. That's still okay there. It's still showing through a little bit. And that's it. I might just put a tiny drop of glue there. Just to hold that down so it doesn't get wrenched out of, sp out of place and torn. Do the same down here just for the same reason. I don't want them to get ripped off there. That one I think is not too bad. I'll just put a dot on there. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, the last thing I might do, I've just got some little diamantes. How's that? Oh, that look, that really finishes that off, doesn't it? Okay, so I'll just put that on there. I just picked these up from the $2 shop. I just put that on there. No, I didn't. I actually got that from my craft shop, I think. I'll just get bits and pieces from everywhere. If I see something that I think will work, I'll get it. Okay, that's it. I'm really happy with that. I think that those little, um, I don't even know what you'd call them, little toppers just finish it right off. I'm really happy with it. I hope you like that. And I just really wanted to show you how quick and easy you can make a Christmas card and using these beautiful Highland Christmas collection papers, they are just beautiful, I love them. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.